This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, one of the benefits, I think, of getting a bit older, the ever-advancing march of time and all of that, is that you do get uh, a slightly broader perspective on many aspects of life, including the cost of things. I know we're living through uh, something of an inflationary period at the moment, and, um, you know, it's easy to, to kind of think the price of everything is going up all the time. And, well, that might be true. Um, um, you know, I'm not an economist, so I'm not going to kind of debate all of that sort of stuff here. But it's... it's um, true that you can also look back on the cost of uh, things and the cost of activities um, from years gone by and think you know what that's so much cheaper nowadays case in point this guitar here this Harley Benton Fusion T um, I paid under 200 pounds for this guitar because <clears throat> it's not a B stock but I got it in the the recent tour man sale and um, roasted maple Locking tuners, stainless steel frets. Reel off a list of specs like that and think how much you, have had to, you would have had to pay for a guitar like that 15, 20 years ago. It's certainly, you know, a lot more than the £195 that I paid for this. And before anybody says, oh, you're all bound to say that, you're always, um, you know, bigging up Harley Bent and you're just a paid shill. Um, yeah, if, if that was the case, uh, would I really be telling you that uh, when I bought that guitar from Toman, I got absolutely appalling customer service, and as a consequence, they are currently on the naughty step. I won't be buying from them for some considerable time. So you know, let, let's just put that one to bed. But I do love that guitar. The other thing that has come down massively in price, perhaps even more so than the cost of a guitar, is recording that guitar. Um, I got to thinking about this the other day and I thought, you know, how much did I pay for when, for my kind of setup when I first started recording? And uh, done a little bit of research and a little bit of uh, remembering. And uh, my first recording device was one of these, a Fostex cassette-based four-track recorder that I distinctly remember I paid £350 for from, I think it was Williams Music in Middlesbrough. So now I can record my guitar. Uh, I was fortunate at the time I had a Marshall amplifier with a speaker emulated output so I could get a decent guitar tone into the recorder. Um, but what about bass? What about drums? All that sort of stuff. Well, I relied on one of these, a Boss DR5. Anyone else remember these? It was a four-track sequencer. Uh, you had one track that was dedicated to the um, built-in drum machine uh boss drum machine you had uh, a bass track and there were like various different bass sounds you could program uh, and two other instrument tracks like piano and strings or organ and um <coughs> you know various other bits and pieces and that's how i used to and you know stereo output that would go into the recorder so i used to put together a bass and drums backing track on that record some record a rhythm guitar part and then you know a lead guitar part over the top and you know bouncing from uh, record onto three tracks bounce down to one record onto two tracks bounce down onto another one and so you know and that uh, boss dr5 as you saw there let's have another look at it 200 pounds okay so that plus what I paid for the recorder was, you know, you're already up to £550. And then, you know, you've got to start thinking about, well, I need effects. Okay, so I'm not recording. I'm recording straight from the amp, but you're going to need reverb. You're going to need to put reverb on the drums and possibly other parts of the mix as well. Uh, so, you know, some kind of uh, even budget-friendly Zoom um, effect unit from, from the 90s, that was, that's going to cost you a couple of hundred quid. So already you're up to, you know, north of £700. And it is just exponentially cheaper to record these days. For example, you know, rather than a four-track recorder, these days I use Reaper. Um, and as you can see there, $60 for a discounted license. Now, the discounted license is basically, um, you know, for 
home use you know if you're using it for uh, home or small business uses i think it is then you can all you've got to pay is 60 dollars and you know there is also a 60 day evaluation period uh, which you know some people are like two years into that <laughs> i guess you know because all you got to do is kind of wait out the nag screen uh, certainly that's uh, you know uh, how it used to be i don't know if that's still the case because I, I bought the license um but um 60 60 dollars or about 50 pounds for you know your recording software and um well you know what about um you're going to need some way of getting your um oh of getting your bass tone there we go well you know again another plug for harley benton although you other maybe get um i don't know um a, a Faisley or something like that just a cheap bass just so you can record there you know you, you don't need to spend a fortune on a bass if it's you know if the music that you're making is going to be you know sort of guitar centric uh just something to hold down the bottom end and maybe upgrade at a later time and you're going to need some way of getting all of that onto you know into your computer you know you've got reaper installed how do you get uh, the guitar and the bass tones into uh, your recording software well you need one of these all of the recordings that you hear on my channel are made with one of these things uh, the behringer euphoria uh, is it euphoria it basically it's this behringer um, audio interface here that as you can see 49 pounds um, so let's top all of that up um, so if we were to think in terms of reaper it's about 50 pound or thereabouts depending on the exchange rate uh then a base 95 pounds then uh an, inter an interface 49 pounds then drums okay zero why is it zero because there are plenty of free drum plugins out there i use it well I think I paid a fiver for my drum plugin. Uh, MT Power Drum Kit is the one I use, and it is free, but you get a nag screen, uh, which disappears as soon as you pay them, you know, I think $5 or something like that. But it is essentially free. <clears throat> then, you know, amp and effects, zero again. What, well, let's deal with the effects part first of all. If you've got Reaper, then you've got. All of the reverbs, delays, choruses, compressors, noise gates, EQs, everything that you need to record with and, um, you know, get, um, you know, good results with. I, I just use the native effects in Reaper anyway, and I'm always happy with the results. Um, but what about the amp? You know, do you need guitar rig or something like that? Or do you need what I use, the blue guitar amp one? Well, no, because I did a video a little while ago, a few weeks ago, about um, a great free amp. Um, well, amp sim, uh, the blue cat free amp. There's, you know, great sort of fendery guitar tones in there, some fantastic Marshall tones, and like so, sort of more modern high gain tones in there that that sound really really convincing so and it's free so you don't need to uh, spend any money at all you know if you're kind of on a budget for uh, you know kind of getting a decent uh, guitar tone so that all tots up to under 200 pounds um so, you know compared to where were we uh, doing it the, the old-fashioned 90s were uh, about 700 or thereabouts by the time you bought the recorder the sequencer and drum machine and all of that and uh you know an effects unit for for reverbs and stuff and then you've got don't forget it's a cassette based recorder so you've got the uh, the cost of the ongoing outlay for you know consumables like cassettes and stuff i suppose there is one other thing that i do need to mention if you're going to be recording at home um you do i guess need some uh decent studio monitors and these are the ones that i use these presonus eris um monitors powered monitors uh 75 pound the cost you know and the i mean the sound quality on these if just if you kind of set the room up right where you've got where you kind of like got the triangle where you're at the at the tip of the triangle and the and the monitors are at the correct uh, distances you know it's they, they sound fantastic give a really really true um representation of the mix that you're making so let's say 200 quid for all of the bits and pieces like you know reaper and all of that sort of stuff plus another 75 for a set of monitors or if push comes to shove you could you could it's not recommended but you could um you know just use um 
you know some 2.1 speakers that you can buy uh you know for a tv or something like that i've i've used that in the past and um you know it's the results aren't as good as you get with proper uh, recording monitors but it's better than not being able to record at all so let's say under 300 quid in 2023 money versus let's say 700 750 quid in 1995 money that is an exponential drop in cost for you know a home recording setup so if you're thinking about uh, taking the plunge and starting to record at home then there has never been a better time to do it in in the same way as uh, what's he called guitar max often says that we live in a golden age of um, you know cheap guitars we're also living in a golden age of home recording and let's not forget that the recordings you can produce at home if you've got you know um the, the experience and once you build up the experience of you know how to kind of mix things and how to record them and how to get the best results and like when to put compression on this and when not to put delay or reverb on that and all that sort of stuff that you'll find out by trial and error once you've got that experience you can produce recordings that are professional quality uh, as opposed to cassette quality which is you know what you were limited to in the 90s it's just astonishing and it's you know the more i think about it the more amazed i am that just how cheap and accessible and um available it th th this technology is now and and how you can get professional results for in the grand scheme of things very very little outlay so there you go that's just my little reflection on the cost of um, or the diminished cost of uh, home recording to professional levels make of it what you will um i hope maybe i've uh, sparked uh maybe one or two of you out there to start thinking about uh taking the plunge and doing some recording it is the most engaging fun um thing you can do really you know to start off with a, a musical idea up here that ends up as a full band production it's just an amazing thrill and um you know i love doing it and uh it's it's part of running this channel one of the parts of running this channel that i really enjoy the most i never miss an opportunity to think oh can i record a tune for that video um <clears throat> so there you go anyway that's the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed it and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream tomorrow and every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk music and guitars and whatever else cr comes up it's a great way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now